We're going to Yakasu. It's like 3.45 p.m. We're going to Duke University. We're about to shut down this place and have a good time. So film them back there. What are you guys expecting from this weekend? Uh, we're expecting to meet a lot of people and to get a diverse, um, kind of get their perspective of how they're living in the U.S. right now and that kind of just to get some ideas of like ways to um, spread the the Asian issue like Asian American issues on campus. Meet some new people. I like our group. It's really diverse so a lot of people should be putting a lot of different perspectives into discussions and all that. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh. So, uh, so, Mitz, what are you excited about this weekend the most? You know, going to all the workshops and uh, learning a lot about the Asian culture and, you know, learning a lot more about um, how, what it means to be an Asian American. gaps and ethnic differences and class divides yeah. and um, basically we'll talk about how Asian Americans direction toward uh, the 21st century and also identify our house of our identity plays in the United States um, so basically this is my first workshop and then um, for next section we have probably about 10 choices for each workshop so I have not figured out that yet Sweet. Give me, I want you to shout out 
maybe not all at once. Shout out the characteristics of who you think is an authentic Asian American. It's helpful to understand racism as a system, to understand it as an institution, rather than to understand it as in necessarily individual acts of prejudice and discrimination. I really enjoyed Kasu and I thought there were a lot of compelling stories and the workshops were really interesting. I went to one about microaggressions and one about North Korea and both were things that I didn't really know much about before so that was good to open my perspective about things like that and it was nice to meet people from all over. Ikasu